Hey, I want to talk to you quickly about the upgoing thumb sign. What you do is you have the patient seated, you have their arms extended, and you have their thumbs gently resting against their index finger, and you tell them just go ahead and rest your arms on your knees. Then what you tell the patient is quickly lift your arms to shoulder level, and you watch their thumbs. Then you have them repeat this. So in an upgoing thumb sign, you can see that what just happened there is my thumbs stayed against my index fingers if you want to review the video. That's because I haven't had a stroke or a TIA, but if I had had a stroke or a TIA, um, as opposed to a stroke mimic, more commonly, I would then have the upgoing thumb sign. So let's pretend that I do have a stroke that's affecting the left side of my body. In that situation, you would have the patient do the same, only in this situation, if they had a stroke or TIA, as opposed to a stroke mimic, more commonly they would have an upgoing thumb sign on the affected side. So in this situation, we set the left, so it would go like this. So the thumb would then come up as they raise their hand. So that would be the upgoing thumb sign. It's kind of like a Babinski sign. And uh, one neurologist in 1993 said, we should name it after the author and call it the Hachinsky-Bavinsky. So, I like it.